Hello YouTube, uh, today the purpose of this video is to show you how to install uh, my modded ROM base uh, that came from 0805 that's the name, well that's the number of the Chinese ROM I just modified it, uh, White Tiger DK did his but I used uh, the actual original launcher that came with 0805 <clears throat> as you can see this is the iPhone 4S, the original one Hello Siri. Siri says hi back. There you go. And this is the Goofon Wi-Fi. Let me go show you that. This is a Tutu tester. As you can see, this is a 4.3, 4.0.3 base um, ROM. Okay. Basically, what this ROM gives you. Is a more faster, much faster uh, user interface. As you can see, it's very fast. Um, it gives you a more available uh, space when you install applications. Before, when I went here to this application, App to SD, this tells me how much space I have occupied between the apps. I don't know if you can see that right down here I have available 406 megabytes okay this ROM already comes with the with the, the Play Store as you can see let me just click on it as you can see this is the Google Play Store okay and here it comes already with it I'm going to show you how to install it once again and as you can see the applications look like more like the iPhone like apps they're full you know they're they're because on the previous ROMs I have tried the apps seem to be look appeared smaller and not fully squared here you can see under this interface that they look fully squared and it's very smooth okay it's very fast okay um, all the applications are on uh, English as you can see you have YouTube okay over here we have the actual weather application I just can't show you the whole thing because it has my my stay which a lot of you already know uh, the App Store this is the iPhone App Store this is the Play Store App Store Okay, as you can see they're very different okay of course one is Android the other one is not you have the multitasking there you go as you can see and then we have the multitasking here as you can see that and then you can choose to kill your apps Oops. There you go. Same thing here. This is the iPhone 4S and the Goofon Wi-Fi. The, the phone's applications and they're basically identical. Let me show you that in just a minute. As you can see, very similar. Okay. There you go. Now here, you're gonna see a um, an arrow right to the side. This is not gonna be the menu. This is gonna be back. Actually, this is gonna be for different option. Now you can access the camera here. Um, when you're in an application, you actually have to go hit. Uh, you can hit search camera, the phone, um, and so on. As you can see. Uh, you, you no longer can use this as a back button it won't work now you have to use the little arrow on the side which we can't get rid of okay so let's say you're on safari and you want to go back this is how you go back you want to go home that's how you go home okay um, okay and once again, all the applications are in English. 
because I had converted it. It's very fast. If you install it, you're gonna enjoy it because it's super fast. Okay. So also, I I had a problem before that when I installed apps like Angry Birds, Angry Birds would just continue to say Angry Birds instead of saying Angry Birds Rio and so on. With this ROM, you're gonna be able to see those differences. Okay. And as you can see, all the apps look just like you will see it on the iPhone. Okay. So now to install this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna power off the phone. Okay. And let's go ahead and power off the phone. Okay, once your phone is powered off, you're gonna press the minus key. Okay, so once your phone is connected, now you're going to press the minus key and the power button, pressing it at the same time. Remember, you have to hold the minus button and then you're going to see their recovery mode. Okay, so now here what you're going to see is the following menu. Now here you're going to scroll down, okay, to where it says um, under ca under catchy you're gonna go ahead and select that right under catchy so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press enter okay now you're gonna select the first option this is just to create a backup you're gonna select that and now it's gonna start to do a backup okay this is because you want to back up whatever you have but remember before you do this you must flash uh, 4.0.3 for the first time which I have shown a video on how to do it then you follow this video okay this is to install the modded ROM from myself uh, this is based on the Chinese uh, ROM 0805 and I managed to to mod it a little bit just for you guys so you're gonna back up all your stuff in here there we go it has finished so once you're finished now you're gonna select uh, that option you, you're just gonna go there by itself just press the enter button so now it's gonna reboot okay this is just for the backup you haven't installed anything yet I'm gonna show you now what's the next step okay so once your phone is powered on what you're going to do is now you're going to connect it to your computer so you can transfer the the modded run of course okay so once connected what you're going to do is you're going to slide to unlock of course and you're going to drag down USB connected and then you're going to turn it on and okay Alright, so now once you turn it on, you're going to see two folders popping up. Mine, the internal SD card is H, and then the added SD card is G. To download the, the ROM on the link below, then you're going to right click on your mouse, and you're going to select extract here. Okay. Then you're going to see it right over here. Okay, if you can see that right there. Okay, you're gonna extract it, and then you're gonna see it. You're gonna have it on a folder. But what I'm gonna do is you're gonna go to start, and then you're gonna go to computer. And here you want to select. Uh, this is the 32 gigabytes I have. You want to select this one. Okay. You want to select the one that has 2.6 gigabytes available. Well, mine has 2.26, so you want to open that. Next, you're going to see here where it says Clockwork Mod, and then it says Backup. Right here are all your backups, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this folder. You're going to drag it right here, okay? And you're going to see, uh, you're, oh, I have several backups, but you're going to see well, just one backup. So you're going to just drag this here. Okay? So I already done it. So, But you're going to do it for the first time. So after you do this, 
um, you're gonna see that folder okay you must have that on there okay so now once you do that now you can close this okay now you come back to the phone and then you turn off USB storage okay now you can actually disconnect it okay so now that you have the backup because this ROM is based on a backup I did it's a clean backup so now you're gonna um, restore using that okay so now what you're gonna do is the following you're gonna slide to unlock you're gonna turn off the phone again now you're gonna power on the phone holding and pressing the minus button and then the plus button all together okay now you release until you feel that it vibrates a little bit okay now what you're gonna go is you're gonna go scroll down and you're gonna go right there where it says um, under catch under catchy I don't know what it says in Chinese but I know it's under catchy you're gonna see the word catchy right under it then you're gonna press enter okay now you're gonna to go to the second option the first option is to back it up the second option is to restore so you're gonna select enter okay and then here I don't know if you can see that here you're gonna see the goo phone the goo phone um, Wi-Fi mod 0815 you're gonna select that one okay and then you're gonna press enter and then you're gonna press restore and yes and now it's restoring okay so once you restore it I'm gonna show you how your run will look like but remember you cannot do this straight from 2.3.6 you must flash it using the flash tool as there are two, I believe two videos so far on how to flash the 4.0.3 once you have the 4.0.3 you can do this immediately okay alright so now you're gonna select it's gonna already do it for you so you're gonna leave it right there and then you're gonna select enter and now your ROM is gonna boot up it's just that simple I believe it's more easier for people to do it as a backup and not as a full ROM because then that'll confuse this is very easy to do if you follow my steps you, you cannot you cannot get wrong on this okay so as you can see it is done once you slide to unlock for the first time it's gonna be a little laggy at first just you know for the first two minutes and now you see the application okay it comes already with the play store all the applications are, are in um, in English uh, messaging as you can see Play Store is already there okay um, you just uh, you have to add the account uh, once again this is the back button okay right there where it has the arrow this no longer works as a back button this just works uh, to go home and that's it uh, here you have the menus um, option uh, let's see you have here other options as well on this um, uh, virtual key as you can see okay you have YouTube okay now you have YouTube available uh, you know it gives you it's much faster I wish I could show you it but as you can see it's much faster as you can see you know just like the original iPhone 4s it's very fast as you can see this one is very fast also and it doesn't matter how many apps you have installed it is super quick okay the only thing I wasn't um, able to get rid of was the music application that's the only thing but otherwise everything was pretty smooth and, and went pretty well so just try the ROM and you know let me know if you like it um, please comment below subscribe and I'll be back with more in the future or white tiger DK okay 
Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye.